We still have a lot of that moderate rainfall still coming down in Albuquerque. Here's a live shot from the Sunport looking toward the Sandia and Manzano Mountains, the East Mountains, and uh, yeah, you can't see them. That's how heavy the rain's coming down. Now, if there's any good news from today, all the cloud cover and moisture we have really did a number on our high temperatures, keeping us mainly in the 70s and 80s for a good chunk of the central and northern part of the state where it didn't rain. Carlsbad Roswell, yeah, you hit the triple digits again today. Let's take a radar tour. We'll start in the western part of the state. You know, I thought that we might catch a, at least be done with Gallup and Grants for showers and thunderstorms. It uh, looks like we might have a second round move in in the next two or three hours. We'll have to watch for the western part of the state pretty closely. For southwestern Mexico, scattered showers and thunderstorms remain moving through Silver City, down 180. Dimming, maybe getting a little bit of light sprinkle activity now. Now it's moving down I-10 toward Lordsburg. Watch out for some blowing dust here in the southwestern part of the state. The Sacramento Mountains getting a little bit of rainfall as we zoom in really close to Ruidoso. Uh, maybe near Capitan, a little bit of some shower and thunderstorm activity, but nothing on the burn scars, so no flash flooding as of right now. A pretty powerful line of thunderstorms now just moving through Santa Rosa along I-40 in the eastern part of the state. So if you're trying to travel here from Tucumcari, uh, maybe trying to head toward Amarillo or vice versa, it's a rough go there. Northeastern part of the state also having a pretty good bit of shower and thunderstorm activity. Santa Fe through the Española Valley, it is a rough go right now. A lot of moderate to heavy rainfall beginning to move into the west slopes of the Sangre de Crystal Mountains. Right now from Mora to Las Vegas, it's currently dry, but flooding issues will pick up in the next hour or two as these thunderstorms kind of push to the east. For Farmington, a lot of the initial thunderstorm activity has moved on, but like I said, I'm watching to the west to see if anything else develops, but for the metro, yeah, we had a pretty gusty line kind of push through here. We had wind gusts over 50 miles per hour, and then the rain really came through, especially pretty hard in Rio Rancho, catching a break there now. Now it's light to moderate rain for everywhere along and east of I-25 in Albuquerque, the Heights, southeastern part of the city, the foothills, all the way down the South Valley, Los Lunas and Berlin, seeing some of that moderate rainfall. So we go through the rest of the overnight hours, scatter showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast at least until about midnight tonight. We'll see some cooler temperatures as well in the northern part of the state because of the rain-cooled air. 50s and 60s, but as we get toward tomorrow, drier air does move in, so we're not expecting the widespread showers and storms like we saw today. In fact, here's your Friday planner for Albuquerque, 8 a.m. 71. We'll begin to see the sun break out by the middle part of the morning, and then that's going to warm us up quickly into the low to mid 90s for tomorrow. Here's high risk future cast. We'll stop this at 9 p.m. Again, some of these showers and storms continue for the eastern part of the state. We'll be watching the burn scars very closely, but as we get toward tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon, we're still going to see a few isolated storms, mainly in our mountains from the Sacramento Mountains over toward the Gila and the West part of the state, but they're going to be much more isolated in nature than what we saw today. And if you're wanting to get out for the weekend, Saturday looks like the day to do it. Maybe a few isolated storms, but definitely the coverage going way down, at least from today for your Friday and Saturday. So for the southeast tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit warmer because of seeing more sunshine. So we're talking 103 in Roswell, about a 10% chance of a thunderstorm possible in the afternoon. Better chances by the weekend. That's about a 20% chance Saturday and Sunday. 94 in Silver City, a little bit drier tomorrow compared to what you had today. For the northwest and the Four Corners region, warmer here as well. 88 in Gallup with mostly sunny skies. 91 in Farmington. Overnight thunderstorms are possible at least until sunrise. And then tomorrow it's a mostly dry day. Uh, highs in the 90s through the weekend. For the North Mountains tomorrow, highs around 88 in Taos, 93 in the Española Valley, 86 in Santa Fe. Chances of rain go way down for the North Mountains tomorrow, but I can't roll out an isolated shower or storm in higher elevations. But that goes way back up by the weekend. Sunday, the best chance of showers and thunderstorms in Santa Fe. 85 in Mueda for tomorrow, 88 in Las Vegas, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Anticipated, maybe a 10% chance of a shower or storm. It's 89 in Edgewood for tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. And in the metro, yeah, with more sunshine means a little bit more heat out there. Temperatures back up into the 90s for highs in the metro. For Rio Rancho, it's a high of 94, staying mostly dry to end our week. Same for Albuquerque, much better rain chances though by our Sunday.